So guys, even though I'm using Windows 11, this will also work for Windows 10. So for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. And then you wanna find Windows Update. Click on run. And now you wanna run this. If it detects any problems, it will try to fix it for you. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you want to expand HK Local Machine, and then you want to expand Software, and then you want to expand Microsoft, and then you want to find the provisioning folder. You want to scroll down until you find provisioning. Click on this. And now once you're in the provisioning folder, you want to right click on it, and then click on Export. And now you can just save it to your desktop. And now I recommend naming this file as provisioning. And then click on save. And now once you save that to your desktop, you want to right click on provisioning again. And then you want to click on permissions. And then click on advanced. And then click on change. And now in this box, you want to type in administrators. Make sure you spell it with the exact same spelling. Make sure that the spelling is correct, it's very important. So spell it how I left it up on screen, or you can just copy and paste it from Google or something. Make sure you spell administrators correctly, and then click on OK. And now you wanna tick replace owner on subcontainers and objects, tick this, and then click on apply. And now you wanna click on disable inheritance. And now you wanna click on convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. Click on this one. And then you wanna tick replace all child object permissions entries, tick this and then click on apply, and then click on yes, and then click on okay, and then click on okay again. And now for the last step, you wanna right click on the provisioning folder, and then click on rename, and then you wanna keep provisioning as it is, and then type in dot old. So keep provisioning, and then type in dot old at the end of it, and then click on enter. Now you just wanna restore your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.